All right. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Dean Naughton. We're going to talk about SEO and Google. What does SEO stand for? Search engine optimization. Search engine optimization. How Google will find you. That's pretty much it. You got to leave breadcrumb bread crumb trails to what they're doing. And so I brought uh, a little help to understand what we're going to do today. See, I got boys, and we we do a lot of hiking. And whenever I let my boys lead out, meaning that they take the lead and we just go where they think we need to go, sometimes we get a little lost. That's kind of how a lot of our agents are right now in real estate. They're a little lost when it comes to the internet. And with them being lost on the internet, sometimes you guys are going to get hungry, not close enough transactions, a few other things. And so just like my boys, I bring a little backup plan. And my backup plan actually is a fishing pole. I think fishing pole and SEO is just about the same gig. This is a great little pole. Collapses now nice and down low, very light, and um, works really well to catch fish if I could have all the parts and pieces, right? So I have the reel, I got the, the pole, I got the hook. What else do I need? Bait. bait, okay? I'll use over here. So I got bait over here too in my pack. And so I got three different kinds of bait. Why do I have three different kinds of bait for fishing? Yeah, it depends on the type of fish, depends on the day, what they're biting on, right? You've heard that term, what they're biting on. So you have three different kinds of bait. So when I go out and go fishing, I test these different baits to see which one they're going to bite on. Okay, so now I have bait. I got a pole. I got my reel. got my hook. Now I'm ready to go fishing. What do I need? Fish. Louder. Fish. Fish. See, it's really funny. We as real estate agents, we go around and we work really, really hard. We got great bait. We got great tools. We got great this, great that. And then we go fishing in something that looks like this. What's our chances of catching fish in here? Hopefully it's limited to none or you're going to be sick soon, right? Absolutely. And so we want to have the right bait, the right poles, and fish. That's how we go fishing. And so in front of you, you have a packet. And in your packet, if you turn to the first page, I'm going to use you as my keeping me on track, all right? Sure. So as you look in the packet, the first page says what? It says we need to go fishing. And real estate is exactly the same as fishing. You need to have the right poles, the right bait, and you need to know where the fish are. Now, when I was a kid, my dad would take us up fishing up in Colorado. And the lake that we would go to, these old guys used to fish that thing forever. I think they started the lake. You know what I mean? I mean, they've been there since the beginning of time. And my dad would always go over to where they're fishing. Why would my dad go over to where they're fishing? They knew where the fish were biting, what they were biting on. They knew that lake. Well, now my dad doesn't use old guys anymore. What does he use? Fish finder. A fish finder. Fish finder. It's easy. You turn it on, go around the lake in your boat. It beeps. You drop your bait. You catch your fish, and it's dinner time. Well, do we have fish finders as well in real estate? Absolutely we do, and especially when it comes to the Internet. And so today, that's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on bait poles, and fish finders, okay, for the internet. So let's talk about bait. So turn your page, and you will see that we have um, three words that we need to understand. Three words, vocabulary, if you will, for the internet. Rule, uh, the first word is Content. What is content in regards to the internet? What's on the web page that you can see? What's on the web page? Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. It is any text, pictures, or video that is posted to the web. Text, pictures, or video. So Brenda's got this great video uh, down in Cancun where she got a little silly and it's on YouTube. Is that content? Is that appropriate content for your business? No. <laughs> Depends on your business. If it is partying, then that would work out very well. But in real estate, that might not be appropriate. But what would be appropriate videos for your business? Tours. Virtual tours. What else? Could you do a quick commercial about you? Absolutely could. What about pictures? What pictures do we use in real estate? Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. 
So we have all different kinds of things. Now, let's go to the last one. What about text? What text do we use? Information about the home. Okay, so we got listing information or information about the home. What other kind of text would we put out there? Your individual expertise. Yeah, about you and about your specialty. Absolutely, absolutely. Communities again, right? What are the better areas to purchase in? As far as values of property right now, there's some great little areas right now where you can get dollar per square foot. Come on, we haven't seen this since the 90s. Unbelievable. So we have pictures, text, and videos. Those are the three things that uh, create the content for the internet. The next word that we're going to look at is keywords or key phrases. What is a keyword or key phrase? Well done. You should teach the class. <laughs> it is the words that a search engine will find or pick up on that is relevant. So let me catch up here real quick. And so what are these keywords? So in real estate, what would be considered a keyword or a key phrase? A city, yeah. Sun City Real Estate. Glendale Homes for Sale. Are those key phrases? Real estate's a key phrase, isn't it? that they may be searching for. Uh huh. Exactly, exactly. Okay? So these are the words that people will type into Google. That's it. That's a keyword, a key phrase. If they type it in, it's a keyword. So what are some of the things they don't type in in regards to real estate that you see in a listing all the time? Price. Pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Tropical. Yeah. yeah, tropical in Arizona. Charming. Good move on that part. Charming. Charming. Light and bright, gorgeous. Location, location. Yep. Oh, yeah, location, location. Or updated. What about great schools? Yeah, they type that in. What, what would they type in? Not school. great schools. School. The school district. They would actually type in the school or school district. Yeah. So instead of saying great schools, you say great, what's the school district around here? Deer Valley. Deer Valley yeah. School District. Yeah. Uh, down in the East Valley, it's Kyrene. Kyrene gets great mm -hmm. traffic because everyone wants their kids to go to the schools. Apparently, they're smarter if they come out of Kyrene than any other school district, right? The last word that we're looking for is indexability. To be indexable. What does that mean? Index means that it's gonna, Google is going to send out search bots or a program to go over and read your web page. Oh, real estate. I got it. Oh, art. He's also an artist. Very good one. Oh, real estate, I got you, okay. Glendale, oh, I got you, okay. Arrowhead, gotcha. And it takes out, extracts these keywords and remembers them and then takes them back and stores them, indexes them so that when Joe Buyer decides he wants to buy a house, he's going to type in these words and Google's going to go, in 0.4 seconds, I got 4 million pages for Sun City Real Estate. Mm -hmm. Isn't that true? Mm -hmm. That's because they've indexed those 4 million pages. So. Is the content you have have appropriate keywords that Google will index? See how that works together? Or we can go backwards. To show up on the first page of Google, you have to be indexed. To be indexed, you have to have the right keywords within your content. Does that make sense? That's the idea. And it's those three words that are going to get us to the rest of this class. Okay? That tells us what the bait is. Just like fish, sometimes they bite on worms, sometimes they bite on power bait. What are buyers biting on right now? Yeah. Foreclosures, REOs, price. Absolutely. You think they're surfing just price point? Oh, yeah. Now, what are they going to end up with? Yeah. Do you think they look for locations? Yes. Yeah. What kind of things do they look at? What, if I'm looking at moving, what am I going to be looking at? I'm going to be looking at schools, right, if I have kiddos. I'm going to be looking at amenities of the area. What if I work somewhere specific? We're realtors. We drive everywhere. But what if I worked for Honeywell or Intel or Amazon? Am I going to live 50 miles away? No, I'm going to be looking for homes near my employment. Okay. So think through that when you're looking at your listings. So this is the right bait. Now let's talk about how to find them.